and welcome to this educational segment. My name is Heather. I'm Sarah. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Danielle. Our purpose here today is to give you a crash course on tuberculosis. What is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It's a bacteria. It can affect many parts of your body, including your brain, your bones, your spine, kidneys, and many other areas. But most often, tuberculosis affects the lungs. This is a very serious disease, and if it's not treated, it can ultimately lead to death. There are two forms of tuberculosis, latent and active. Latent tuberculosis occurs when the bacteria is in your body, but no active disease has developed. The bacteria are so-called sleeping. Latent tuberculosis cannot be spread to others. People with this latent infection do not have any signs and symptoms of the disease, so they pe feel pretty well. Um, however, if your body is not strong enough, you may develop an active disease. People with latent tuberculosis, however, do not always develop active disease. An active disease occurs when your body's immune system is not strong enough and your body cannot fight off the germs. Then they become active and start so-called running around your body. Active tuberculosis can be spread from one person to another. This is a communicable disease and it is spread through the air. It's called airborne transmission. So for instance, it can be spread by coughing, <coughs> sneezing, <coughs> talking, <coughs> or laughing. <laughs> However, it takes an extended exposure to spread the disease. So, for instance, if I have the disease and my brother does not, then I might spread the disease to him if I'm living with him. But if I'm sitting on an airplane flying around and the person next to me doesn't have TB, but I do, and I cough on him, <coughs> he will not get the disease because it takes extended exposure. However, people with a depressed immune system, such as conditions like HIV or AIDS, are extremely vulnerable to developing an active TB disease. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm going to be talking about screening and testing for TB. There are several types of screening and testing for TB. The first one is a Manto test. And what this is, is they take a very small needle and they put a little medicine in called tuberculin. And what they do is they stick it just under your skin and it forms a little bleb. And two to three days later, they come and they look to make sure that a hardened, round area that is raised has not formed on your skin. And that just indicates that the germs are in your body, which might mean you have latent, which you could be treated for. Otherwise, they might do further tests to make sure you don't have the active form of the disease. Another test they could do is a chest x-ray. They don't want to do that if you're pregnant. And that's just an easy little procedure. Another test they could do is a blood test. And that just cultures the blood to make sure that there's not um, the tuberculosis in there. And that would indicate you have the active form. Another kind of testing is the sputum test. Heather, she has a cup. And the nurse usually gives you a small cup. And what you do is you can take it home. And in the morning when you wake up, you want to brush your teeth. Make sure you don't drink anything or eat anything. And you take some deep breaths in, deep breath out, and then another deep breath in, and you try to cough up some mucus from inside your lungs. <coughs> and once you have some, just spit it in the cup, close the top, and put it in the refrigerator to save for your next clinic visit. Thank you very much. My name is Caitlin and I'm going to be talking about treatment of tuberculosis. Um, once you are diagnosed with either latent or active TB, it requires a rigorous medication regimen in order to get rid of the disease. Latent tuberculosis takes about one medication for nine months in order to get rid of the disease, and active tuberculosis takes around 
three to four medications to be fully cured of the disease, and that can take six months to a year. However, um, the medication regimen, how long it takes, usually depends on your age, your current health condition, and also um, the resistance of the tuberculosis that you have. These are the four common medications given for tuberculosis, and um, there is any combination of these that can be given, and for latent, any of these can be given. Um, especially if you have latent disease, it's very common to want to quit taking your medications because you feel well. However, this can lead to medication resistance, and it can be very difficult to treat the disease once you have resistance. So if you get a pill box or something to help you remind that you need to take your medications every single day, um, that's important too. They can also be very toxic to the liver, so you want to make sure you don't drink any alcohol while you're taking these medications. And you should contact your provider if you experience any nausea or vomiting, any yellowing of the skin, or a fever lasting more than three days. Hi, my name is Danielle and I will be talking about what, what you can expect from a healthcare provider when you have TB. When entering a hospital with the diagnosis of TB, you will most likely be in a room all by yourself. As nurses enter the room, do not be afraid because they will be wearing a mask, gloves, gown, as well as an eye shield. A nurse may also come into your home to check to see if you are following through with the medication regimen, how you are feeling, and if you are experiencing any side effects of the medications, such as abdominal pain and nausea and vomiting. When you are being discharged from the hospital, your doctor may tell you how long to stay at home and to not leave your house. When you are leaving the house, when you are allowed to, make sure that you wear a mask so that you are not infecting others with tuberculosis. This concludes our educational segment on tuberculosis. If you have any further questions regarding TB, make sure you contact your health care provider or log on to the World Health Organization. Thank you for listening and have a great day.